Alright, yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Devs here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the new update in Phantom Forces. Update 8.0 has been released, um, so in this update, there has been actually a lot of changes that uh, we've been expecting for a while, including the major server-side code change, and like the cleanup that they've been doing. Um, looks like we got also new arms, um, by the looks of it, that I didn't even realise. Um, we've also got a game mode logic rewrite. Uh, re white right oh my days yo this is why i don't record videos i'm just keep it real anyway yeah um swap is now in the game so if you guys don't know what swap is it used to be a vip game mode only and it's basically you swap guns with the guys that you kill right so like as you see i just killed that guy with my mosin i got his intervention if i kill this guy right here i'm gonna get his intervention yeah it's basically a pretty sick game mode it's pretty like uh it's pretty much like um gun game but like with custom like player guns i guess you could say also also in this update apart from swap which is an amazing game mode i'm actually glad they really added this um we've also got the rework on the m231 i believe this is a new model there's also a rework on the pocket knife i believe uh this has been reworked this looks really nice actually actually looks like a real pocket knife now look at that it's got the corkscrew and everything that's really nice to be fair uh and i also believe the beowulf tcr has been changed as well uh that's the ecr uh the tcr bro chat you know i never use the tcr so i have no idea where it is oh right here okay yeah so they've reworked this as well um so yeah let me quickly reset the attachment so we can actually kind of see like um so we can kind of see what it looks like so yeah it looks pretty sick actually i kind of like these changes they are making the game look a bit more realistic than what it was um so yeah there also is a new melee weapon that i've been seeing in the patch and it's called the harvester so i'm gonna see if i can get that and show you guys later on in the video i'm probably just gonna stop open like 100 cases and uh yeah go from there but what's really cool about the swap game mode that a lot of you guys probably don't know is if you use a secondary, you will get the person's secondary weapon, not their primary. Which is, I think that's really cool to me. And I think it's the same with, like, uh, melees as well. I think if you kill them with a melee, you'll get their melee. So yeah, I think that's a really cool, like, aspect of the game. Like, you just don't get, like, the gun they're using, you know. It's not like you'll get their primary if you're using a secondary you'll get their like secondary if you're using a yeah basically it's not what gun they're holding it's what gun you've used to kill them i think that's pretty cool uh really cool aspect um i'm kind of glad we got a new game mode we haven't had a new game mode in a long time and uh yeah i'm glad about the code rework as well i think this could like have a large impact on pf and hopefully uh the updates keep coming from pf this is like one of the biggest updates we've had in a while and uh, from what I can see, it's a good one so far, you know? I don't really have anything bad to say. I can't lie, the hands do look a bit weird, but I think it's just because I've been used to the other ones for so long that these ones do look a tiny bit different, you know? Just a tiny bit. But yeah, I don't I don't see an issue with them personally. I'm sure I get the kill with that deagle. But yeah, this game mode is really fun um, from what I've been seeing, from what I've been playing so far. Um, this is actually my first game on, <laughs> which is crazy. I saw the new update and I was like, yo, I have to record before stream. I was like, oh my days. Also, if you guys don't know, I do stream on Twitch every single day. If you guys want to come and view the stream, there's a link in the description. There's also links to my other socials if you guys are interested, of course, of course. Um, but yeah, Phantom Forces update. And, uh, I'm kind of glad, you know, this is a, this is a change. We've been like, I don't know, I think we've been lacking updates for a while and to see like this update come out is uh, kind of like it left me hope for the game, you know? Like a lot of people were saying PF is dying and stuff, but this update has really like changed my mind right now. And uh, yeah, I hope more updates come because this update seems really fun, especially with the swap game mode and like the uh, new code rewrite. I think this is a positive change to the game, you know? So yeah, we're just going to keep playing uh, Swap because, uh, I don't know, this game is pretty fun. I love doing Swap game mode. It just, I don't know, it feels so much more challenging than just using like the guns normally. Because like when you use a gun normally, right, it's like, oh yeah, it's your attachments, it's your setup, you know, you can get kills with it. 
but like with swap it's random like setups it's like what they're using so it's kind of cool to see what the community has as well like on their guns like i don't know what this what is it i think this is the vo wolf tcr actually <laughs> <laughs> I think this might actually be the Beowulf Wolf TCR. That guy was using uh, r like ACOG. I have not seen people use the ACOG in a while. But yeah, um, also in the update notes, I think there was something about they're taking a different approach to dynamic scalable menus, um, which is interesting. I don't know much about it, but yeah, we just won the swap game mode. First game on of the day, let's go. Where did we go? 11 and 5. That's not even that bad with uh, player-owned guns. But yeah, honestly, I really like this update. Uh, there's not really much else to say. Um, people are like, I think it's 50-50. People like love it, people hate it, you know? This game mode is pure crap, it's fun. But who knows? I think it's a cool addition. Uh, I'm here for it, you know, personally. Um, yeah. I think there is also two new commands that you guys can try to do the aspect ratio of your game and stuff. I think one of them is menu scale, uh, and then you do like colon, and then I think you just put a number. I, I don't know, I'm not gonna try it because I don't know what the default is. And I think menu aspect ratio is also a command that you guys can try to mess around with your menu HUDs. Um, so yeah, that's two pretty cool additions to the game. I don't know if that was added this update or last update. I could not tell you, but I haven't made an update video on PF for a long time. So I don't know if I'm right in saying it got added this update, then feel free to go try it. Let me know in the comments what's the best or what you guys have found to be the best because uh, I'm sure I'll try it at some point. But yeah, um, I don't know. I just woke up to a PF update, you know, it's kind of made my day. I just woke up and I was just like, yeah, PF update. And uh, it's good stuff. I'm glad, you know. Um, the pocket knife is looking really nice, actually. I think we're going to get that in. Uh, I think we're going to select that real quick. If I haven't already. Did I already, like, equip it? Yeah, I did. I'm just dumb. All right. So, yeah, it has changed a bit from the last time we had the pocket knife. It has changed. But yeah, I, I like the idea of this new pocket knife. Let's see if we can get a kill with it. It looked really cool in the menu. I can't lie. Like with the corkscrew and everything on it. That looked really sick. Alright, let's try to get this kill. Yo. Yeah, I think... And you know what's crazy, chat? So I've been on 60 FPS this whole time. I didn't even realise. I forgot to turn on my FPS unlock before recording. So I'm sorry if this video comes out a bit jittery. Oh my days, there's a shotgun. But yeah, um, the harvester. I'm actually going to try and get that real quick. Let me let me just try and get a kill with this pocket knife, and then I'll try to show you guys the harvester. Because that sounds like a really interesting uh, melee to get, I guess. I think it it sounds like a more of like a Halloween type melee than it does like just a normal one, in my opinion. Yo, stop running around. Finally, okay, we got, we got a kill with the pocket knife. That's all I wanted. And I think what's really cool as well here, right? They've actually kind of changed the studs. Um, so now it actually says like an exact amount of studs away instead of like how it used to. So now we got 35.4 studs, which obviously that would have been rounded down to 35 studs. And I think anything above 0.5 gets rounded up. So 12.6 studs you see right there in the kill feed, that would have been rounded up to 13 studs. So yeah, that's a really cool addition. Um, I don't know how many people will actually care how far it is like exactly but i think that's pretty cool it's a nice thing to see like that it's like really accurate i've never seen that like much in a game before to see like precision like actual like in like depth point digits you know that don't round up or whatever i think that's a cool addition i'm so sorry if i waffle in these videos chat like honestly from streaming to making YouTube content, I'm like, I'm so like mix matching over both of them at this point where my commentary has just died and I keep saying chat and I just realized it right now. So yeah, I'm sorry in advance, but yeah, if you guys haven't tried this new update, I'd recommend you come try it. I'm having a lot of fun, even on this map. Um, I don't know. I never played this map, but yeah, the swap game definitely does look fun to play. 
and uh, I, I recommend playing it. I've had a lot of fun on it, and that's a rare thing for me to say, is having fun in PF. I don't really have much fun in PF anymore, but I'm glad finally I can have a decent amount of fun. So, let me quickly see if I can get this new melee. I don't know if I can actually see it without unlocking it, so let me just have a look. I might actually have to unlock it, I don't know. What, what are we looking for? Harvester, Harvester. I think I might actually have to unlock it. Uh, yeah, if I go past it, the comments are going to be going crazy on this video. Oh, it's right here. Oh, so it is like a Halloween type Harvester. So I thought, it, see, I told you guys, it sounded like a Halloween type thing. This looks like um, the Eye of the Storm like one. This looks like from the Halloween update of 2020. I think it was 2020. Um, so yeah, let's try to get some kills with this. Honestly, I thought I'd have to unlock it, like, through a case. But I think it's rank locked, so, uh... That's a bonus. That is actually a bonus. This looks really cool, like... <laughs> we just got killed by Ghost Gun again. Let me, let me, let me quickly try and, uh, show you guys the animation for it. So, this is the inspect. Looks pretty cool. The blade, like, comes in and out of it, like... It's a bit, like... I don't know, that's, that seems really cool to me, like, the blade animation... Like it like is there and it disappears. That's actually pretty sick. I can't lie. Yeah, so guys, I'm sorry for the uh, like three weeks I haven't uploaded. I don't know. I just haven't really been motivated to make videos. It's gonna be like, uh, you know, I haven't really been wanting to make videos or anything. I haven't really had any ideas. Um, I was planning to make a video on Frontlines, so uh, let me know if you guys want that. But yeah. Pretty much, I just haven't really had any video ideas, and I have been wanting to upload, but I don't know. I just haven't really had any video ideas that, like, kind of, like, came to my mind, so I couldn't really make a video with no idea. But, yeah, I was planning on making a Frontlines video. I kind of messed it up, um, so I'm probably gonna have to re-record that, I can't lie. But, yeah, yo, we just got two kills with this thing. Alright, so I just hopped to Bazaar, because... I thought it would be a good idea to go on a more of a close quarter combat to try to get kills with this knife. Because, uh, yeah, last map you kind of saw, I kind of got destroyed, I can't lie, but saying that I was coming against uh, guns, you know, against a knife, you know. Brought the wrong weapon to the wrong fight, you know, type thing. So, yeah, I'm going to see if I can get some kills right here with this. Uh, honestly, it's so hard getting knife kills now in PF because people are just so sweaty now. It's like honestly crazy. Here we go. Nice kill right there with the harvester. Nice headshot as well. Let's capture this point real quick. You know, can't be letting my team down. I never capture points. Like, that is the only time I've, I think I've captured a point in like a year. <laughs> like, that's crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like people don't play objective anymore. Yo, let me dunk on this guy real quick. Oh, never mind. My teammate got him. All right. I was going to dunk on him with like, boom, you know? But guess not. Let me see if I can find one more enemy to, like, try get this kill. Boom! Dude, that guy actually got dunked on. What I found with this is, it is actually really easy to headshot people with it. So, uh, that is a bonus, you know? And I think it has a really good headshot multiplier as well. So, uh, yeah, I mean, just aim for head with it, I guess. Just aim for the head. Look. Oh, I messed it. I messed it up. Yo, come back. <laughs> but, yeah, pretty much... There's not much else to say for this update. I'm really glad that PF got another update that was uh, decently big like this one. Um, I'm happy about the changes. Let me know what you guys think about the update in the comments below. And uh, yeah, there's not much else to say. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just kidding, bro. I'll see you guys next week in a bit.